Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. For two great heavyweights that have really mixed at the absolute elite level of the sport. Derek Chisora against Gerald Washington. Two guys that put their name into that Anthony Joshua hat at the weekend. And one of the reasons we didn't move forward with either of these is because we wanted to see this fight. It's a really great fight for the undercard. Derek Chisora goes again at the O2, the home of so many incredible performances by him. Malik Scott trained Gerald Washington in the house. Welcome, Gerald. Um, I guess you look at this fight, you fancy this fight. Do you see yourself as a favourite in this fight on paper? I know it's one that you and Malik Scott truly believe you win. I think it's a great matchup for us. Uh, we've been working hard for a long time. Uh, we haven't fought for over a year and a half, so I'm grateful for this opportunity to you and to, to Derek for giving us this shot. Um, we've been working, so yeah, we're looking forward to this. I guess for you sometimes it's a little bit, you know, don't chin me, but it's a little bit hot and cold sometimes. You had a, a big knockout win over Robert Hellenius a few years ago and then yeah. other times, you know, blown a little bit cold as well. Where are you at with your career? Where are you at with your training? Malik messaged me yeah. when, when uh, Dillian was out of the fight saying, honestly, this guy's ready, he's trained hard. Yeah. Where, where are you at in your mind physically and in your career right now? Yeah, I know I've been up and down. You know, it's just a matter of being consistent for me. Uh, I started late in the game. I started when I was 30 years old. I had a lot of great opportunities, great wins. I fought for the heavyweight championship of the world. I've had uh, big fights, you know, but uh, just learning along the way. And I'm grateful to be here, to be able to fight here in London for the first time. It's going to be a, we're ready to put on a good show. And finally, this man to my right, who you know, Great yeah, character, very, great very, fighter, yes, sir, yes, super sir. tough. Yes. Going to take some beating on Saturday night. But if you beat this man, yes. all of a sudden puts you in the frame for massive fights, massive paydays, and, and uh, it's going to be a lot of action, this fight. Yeah, it's going to be back in the mix, baby. Mr. Chisora, welcome. I thought it was Louis Vuitton, but it's actually five guys. I can't afford Louis Vuitton. Shout out to your well, sponsors, as you always. you pay me, I can't afford. <laughs> Obviously... We know of the, the problems with the main event, which you kindly offered to help out for, because... No, 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 don't try and make me fall out with my brother. I didn't offer out. <laughs> don't try it. I didn't say anything. I just kept quiet. People put my name in the back. I just kept quiet, you know. Listen, it happens, you know. Uh, it's quite sad, you know. You know, I feel bad for you, because how many pay-per-views have you done? Many. No, no, no. On his own. No, well, their plan is to not do the pay per views. But no, yeah, because every time, you try, one, every time you try to do a pay per view, somebody fucks you up for you. I know. And I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. I'd literally just got over it. Yeah, I, I get it, man. It's two pay per views you've tried to do and then you've been fucked up. I apologize. Maybe you just give me the debate. I'll just do it for you easy, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll sell out a thing for you. Thank you. Well, Bye. we'll talk about your fight. Um, Anyway, this is a great fight. Yeah, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Prince Khalid and uh, everybody at Skill Challenge, you know, because to be God honest, truth with you guys, Skill Challenge and 258 put me on this undercard. Eddie didn't want to put me on this undercard. You know, uh, he didn't want to pay me. So my money came from Skill Challenge. So for me, you're this, so, I mean, no, no, let's be you're honest. You're so expensive. No, no, man. let's be honest. You know? that's, 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 I agree, though. I yeah, agree. You, you didn't want to pay me. So that's, for me to sit here and try I'm not, and I'm not actually paying it no, for the no, undercard, yeah, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. For um, me to sit here and like, me and you are best for friends is just bullshit. Let's all be honest about it. So. What, me and you? Yeah, we, we're not I'll really like, best friends. I like you. I, I like you too, but Thank we're you. not really best friends. Not really, no. no I mean, you know, but I appreciate the five guys you bring in to the change rooms after. Oh, yeah, but thank you very much. You know, that's, everybody, you know, everybody has to eat after the fight. That's it. You know, but you know what? It's going to be a great show, you know. I, I, it's, uh, you know, it's a problem, you know, because, you know, I want to talk about this. It's a problem in this sport of ours that boxing is already a harder sport enough to fight somebody's kid when you're not, when, when, you, when, you, when you're not on drugs. Now, imagine now you... But get, it's not even the fighters I blame. You know, I want to blame the, the, the trainers, you know, the, the trainers, you know, like your boxing trainer, your S&C coaches. Those are the guys who give you that shit. Not the boxing. You don't see a fighter go, oh, let me go online, let me get this to enhance my body. No, no, no. I blame the trainers. The blah, oh, you know, if I get this for you, you can do this and do this. Those are the people I blame for this because boxing already, it's already a hard, hard sport already. 
without people taking drugs. Do you understand? You know, I, I don't take drugs in boxing, to be honest with you, but I take drugs when I go to Ibiza, do you understand? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, you know, that's allowed. You know, I smoke a bit of reef for once in a while, but that's cool, you know. But I don't take it, I don't take it for me to fight another, another person's kid. No, I don't do that. So I think, I think from every, from, I think they should put a new rule now. If you get caught taking any supplements in boxing, this is from the British Border Control, it's gonna have to be a 10 year ban straight away. A 10 year ban, because how about if you hit that kid and he dies, what are you gonna do? You know, I boxed for 20 years now. I've never taken any drugs. The only time I've been banned from boxing is when I beat somebody's ear. But that's it. But I was not banned for drugs. So I think the, 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 the rules should change in, in, in actually for the bridge border. Get caught taking drugs. It's a 10 year ban straight away. There's no excuses. Now, I've said my piece anyway now. Yeah, I'm happy to fight Gerald Washington. Um, I, I thank Prince Khalif for putting me on, on this card. Um, I was told not to say so much, you know, because I don't want to offend lots of people. You know, I don't mind offending people. But, Eddie, I, I love to love you, though, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to thank Prince Khalif because it is a true story. It but I always story. want to see you on the card. And this is a big fight for you. Oh, no, and I know yeah, you never really want to analyse fights you know and what, you know, talk all about the desire. Guy, and right, what's going to happen bro, when you fight this guy at the O2? They're all big, man. They're all, all the fights I've been in, they're all big, bro. They're all my babies. I love them. I love all the fights from the moment I had my first fight and to the moment I have my last fight. They're all my babies. I love them. You know, I got two kids and I love all my kids the same way. I don't love one better than the other one. I love them all the same. Even from the moment I walked in the ring, from the amateurs, I love all my fights the same. You know, um, I'm happy I'm fighting Gerald Washington, you know. I know what George Washington is going to bring. He's going he's gonna to have to put his Usain Bolt shoes on. He's going to run. And that is all goes on the street. <laughs> he's going to run, but it's okay. We're going to chase him and we're going to find him. We're going to fuck him up. You know, you know, he's my friend. I ain't gonna lie to you, he's my friend. But when I get in the ring, I'm gonna eat this guy up. You know, uh, he's gonna have to have something unbelievable for me, you know, to not to come after him. But whatever happens, I'm gonna eat him up. I know you talk about you just love to fight, but also at the same time, this is a fight that you have to win. Mate, all you fights, look at it like all, that, or is it fights, just another all fight for fights you? You have to win, man. Jesus Christ is like all fights you have to win. <laughs> Sometimes it's not your day, you know, all fights you have to win, you know, man, man makes plans and God loves him. So, you know, I can say, yes, I'm going to knock him out in the third round and I go to 12 rounds, you know, all fights you have to win. You know, you think I didn't want to win my last uh, 22 fights I lost? No, I'm joking. <laughs> You know. <laughs> One thing I will say, the O2 has been a great home for you. Always oh. unbelievable support O2, O2's from, home from fight for fans. Me. And as you look around, not just the young fighters, of course, but a great heavyweight card, great fight to the right of you with, with Philip and Dempsey and, and young Johnny Fisher in a big test. Great heavyweight action. Mate, uh, I mean, like, you know, you know I, I moved around with Johnny. You know, Johnny's a good kid, bro. You know, I, I, love, I, love, the, I love his way. He, he fights for the people, you know. Uh, you know, my, my man, I'm wearing his, 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 his national flag colors, you know. I've seen him box with the Chinese, Chinese power, you know. It was a very tricky fight for him in, in Saudi. I was there, you know. Um, Harry, I used to train with Harry with Don, you know, so it's a good fight, you know, I, the Southport guy I was training, I uh, no, don't, don't really know much about him, you know, but he's a good fighter, you know, uh, it's all good, man, it's a good undercard, you know, you got Spider-Man, you know, <laughs> you got Ricky Hatton's son down there, is that him? Is Ricky's son here? It's Campbell. Campbell? <laughs> Fuck you ignoring me for? <laughs> What's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> How are you? Good, mate, you? Yeah, I'm good, my brother. Good, mum. You know, you know, I watched Campbell's last fight, you know, his body shot, he hit the guy with, uh, I felt it myself and I was on the floor. Uh, so listen, it's going to be a good card, you know, I, you know I, and, and to the fans, you know, I apologise for what happened to the fight. You know, we wanted to watch the rematch, you know, AJ and, and, and Dylan, you know, uh, I spoke to Dylan, Dylan feels bad, he goes, you know, Eddie, you did something with his bloods, you know, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks, Derek. <laughs> De- definitely didn't want this fight for to fall through. <laughs> no, I spoke to him. He said, you did something to the blood. I'm like, what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get the blame. Uh, you know, some, somebody yeah. has to get the blame. Exactly. You Thank you. But anyway, you know, listen, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Um, it's going to be a great show. I'm excited. I'm buzzing. Uh, thank you. And, and for that, thank you very much. My final question. You've shared the ring with Robert Hellanius, tall, stand-up, six-foot-nine guy. Good, good match-up for AJ. Again, tricky with a, a five-day replacement, but I know you spoke to him. He's looked great in this camp. Listen, um, I've shared the ring 12 rounds with him, yeah. This man knocked him out. How many rounds he knocked him out in? Eight. Eight yeah. rounds. So, you know, I did 12, he did eight. So I think AJ should knock him out in third round, fair and square. Okay. Yeah, fingers no, crossed. No, no, no. No fingers crossed. I... I'm going to tell AJ, you need to know this guy so we can have an early night home. Good. Well, yeah. good luck to you. Good luck to everybody on the card. A great undercard of action. Good luck to you too, Eddie. Thank you. I need it. Especially sitting next to you. Thank you to everybody up here, the media, and we will have the main event press coming shortly. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking shell up.